his Smith grandparents, he was of Cherokee Indian descent, and his grandmother was also partly Jewish. When they married, Verna was 17 and worked on a dairy farm. Gladys was 21, a seamstress at the Tupelo Garment Factory. They lived with family until she fell pregnant, when Vernon borrowed $180 from his employer and built a two-room shack on some land owned by his father. restored by enthusiastic caretakers now seems like a bijou residence complete with wallpaper it was in far less comfortable circumstances that gladys went into labor in january 1935 she gave birth to twins the first stillborn my mother came when elvis was born to bring a diaper lay it to diaper Elvis because the presses were in dire circumstances. And Dr. William Robert Hart, who delivered him, was our Sunday school teacher and delivered all of us. And he announced on prayer meeting on Wednesday night that the presses had had twins and would the good ladies of the church come out and give them some assistance. It was raining that day and Vernon told me that Brother Holly said, Vernon, you go on home and we'll take care of the burial. He had a terrible call from having to work outside in the weather. So Vernon's dairy work fell away and he had to take odd jobs. They were very poor. And when Elvis was three, his father was desperate enough to swindle his old boss out of a few dollars. He was caught. and he was sent to Parchment Farm Prison for three years. So many day with me, they would be cold. They would have us out in the rain and cold Their house was taken from them, and the little boy and his mother again forced to live with relatives. 